That is sensational. I tell you what, what a te what tease that is. <laughs> That's sensational. Justin Hayes, John Lodge of the Moody Blues, playing live for us here in the studio. And as part of our TVAM campaign for better nursery education, we'll find out why Sweden leads the world in looking after the welfare of the under fives. And there'll be more Moody Blues. <laughs> and we're also going to go to. Uh, that could be it. Yeah, thanks for the interviews, fellas. And we're going to go to Hong Kong, <laughs> Hong Kong. See you. Our next guests have rock and rolled through musical trends and changes that could fill a book of music history. Justin Haywood and John Lodge from the Moody Blues join us this morning to let us in on the secret of their success. Good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, hi, good what morning. is the secret of your success <laughs> after that link? Uh, a plectrum. A plectrum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's what I've got wrong. Yeah. And several guitars. Yeah, yeah. Actually, writing our own songs, I think that's the um, oh. secret of our success. Yeah. Obviously, as soon as we started doing that, and yeah. we had success, yeah. You've what are you doing at the moment? Are you touring or coming up to a tour? We've just finished uh, touring in America. We've uh, just completed 70 shows from July 18. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've just uh, got a new single coming out this week. And uh, we're just organising a British tour for April of oh, next year. That's marvellous news, obviously, for yeah. all of your fans. I believe that the American tour has been an incredible oh, success. Great. Yeah, I mean, it's still now, every evening at 8 o'clock, we jump up. <laughs> 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 Even at home, you know. But, no, it's been fantastic. It's been a great year for us and uh, tremendous success this summer. We've had a great summer. Were you surprised at the reaction? I know you have had a hit fairly recently yeah. in America, so sure, obviously yeah. that's revived interest, if you like. But after all, it is 20 years since the 60s when you were last touring there, or touring there as the Moody Blues. Well, I think the interesting part is that the first time we toured America, probably our audience was a progressive college audience, so the, the age was probably 18, 19, 20. And now, sort of 20 years plus on, mm -hmm. uh, the front rows are 15, 16 year olds. They're actually younger than when we first went out, which is quite... And they know the words, which helps us, of course. That's fantastic. Do you think it's because of the success of all the gold stations throughout America that it's given you a new audience? Because peop young people are now aware of your yeah. older work. I, th I think it could be. I mean, that's a, it's a pretty new kind of phenomenon, the classic rock uh, stations in America, and, and, it's, and it's happening here too, and I think it's great. But it's still, the, the, what means most to us is what we're doing now and uh, the records that we're making, you know, what we're yet to make and uh, yeah. the product that we've got out now. What about the classic oldies, though? Because everybody remembers Knights and White yeah. Satin. Obviously, you cannot still go to a disco where at two in the morning they don't play that record. What are your <laughs> memories that you associate played with that? Played it last that night most? on Des O'Connor. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody did, yeah. Actually played them. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what are, are memories These of your what? memories of Knights and White Satin, particularly? Well, N Knights is a great thing to be part of because it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to share with an audience because, um, you know, it means so much to so many people. I think it's like it doesn't belong to us anymore, and it's a great, like it's a big thrill for us to be able to play that every night. Mm. Just as you, you know, without being pompous of trying to analyse your music, it, it, it's very rural. There's a very British feel about it. Always has mm -hmm. been. Uh, yeah, I mentioned nights. I think that's nights, what appeals famous... to Americans. Yeah. You know. yeah. Sorry. I mean, don't you think that's our strongest mu musical tradition of all? I mean, being more serious about it, Algar, yeah. Vaughan Williams, and so on. Well, I, I mean, before Days of Future Past, we were really playing American copied songs. And we were sort of imitating, singing about the blues of the deep south of New Orleans, and we were from Birmingham, and, and, and didn't even know where America was really at that t stage of our lives. Yeah. So it was only when we decided to be truthful to ourselves and write our own songs and reflect what we were doing and who we were that um, success, whatever that is, you know, you, happened. In, in a way, um, particularly you, just you, you write mm -hmm. in the way that you are. I mean, you love the countryside, yeah. don't you? You're, yeah, absolutely. You've always yeah. been madkin on horses and yeah, so on. Yeah, sure. And much more important to you than city life and something. Yes, I think so, yeah. And um, I think that comes up with, with what you're brought up with, even at school, you know, and then it's a combination of a lot of things, English folk music and rock mm. and roll. They all sort of merge together to become your influences. And uh, there's, it's, there's a particular thing about British musicians that, uh, that, America, that appeals to Americans as well, you yeah? know? Yeah. If you love the countryside yeah. so much, and you love England so much, you say, what on earth's it been like living out of a suitcase for so many months going round America? 
well, that's the best way to share our music that we know, you know, and that's the most important thing, putting it in front of people, putting it in front of the public. Just just had a theory it's great fun as well. I've just had a theory about why your audience is getting younger. Yeah. The unpleasant thing about you is you're getting younger. <laughs> Justin Hayward. <laughs> now, how do you achieve that? Is that country living? Is that good living? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're going to play Hopping. for us, aren't you, a little bit? Mm. Yes. What yeah, have you actually, got for us? Actually, we're going to do a song that uh, John and I had a hit with... Um, that we, we haven't been able to do on stage for a while because, we're, you know, of the mood is. But this is a song we had a hit with uh, together, and uh, it's called Blue Guitar. Great. Wonderful. Okay, three, four. Blue guitar, fortune of my ways, making of my day. The wine from the water Well, what should it matter To the fool or the dreamer Did you mind that? <laughs> <laughs> got another one, I got another one. Oh, great. That is one of those records that you do associate with the end of the evening, everybody getting back together yeah. again or parting, don't you? You just yeah. imagine. You're responsible for a lot of relationships oh. breaking up or getting back together again, I'm sure. Uh, that's great. That's a heavy, a heavy load to bear. Did you, you say you're going to play another one? Yeah, but this is... Oh, uh, oh we did a bit of this earlier, OK. <laughs> I tell you what, I can see you both worrying about the high note, weren't you? <laughs> yes, I never made it. It's like, no, you know, I left you, it out. You did extremely well. Yeah, I'll tell you what, some nat should we do some nattering after a break? Great. A bit more nattering. We'll take a quick break. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with Justin Haywood and John Lodge of the Moody Blues. Hello again. Hi. Now, I have seen that you've got a bit cosmopolitan in the last few years, that you've done a song in French, Sur la Mer, yeah. and you've also been singing in Spanish. Oh, yeah, Is we do right? a Spanish version of our latest uh, single, yeah. And um, Al fin voy en contrarte, it's called. And uh, the guy, when we were doing it, the, the, uh, the chap that was producing it said, uh, and we, we worked 
very hard on it. And he said, I gotta make you not a sound like a gringo. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it took us about two days, and he said, You don't sound like a gringo now, you sound like one of us. So <laughs> we knew we were, and it's happening, it's happening in South America, it's great. I think the wonderful thing they've done as well, they put the Spanish lyric, you know, the, how we sing it in Spanish, on top of the English Onto video. The English video, yeah. And they've made it fit, you know, the lip syncing. Very confusing, isn't yes. it? Tell you what, just a quick check. Uh, first yeah. of all, how many guitars have you got now, John? Uh, and how many cars? Probably about 25. 25 and they're guitars. They're all white. They're all white. <laughs> they're all white. <laughs> they're all white. And how many cars? Oh. Uh, six. Six. Well, that's not a mere, a mere yes. six. And how many horses have you got now? Oh, um, actually, I've only got about four horses myself, and then, but I have a farm where we have other people's horses as well. Look after them. Too. And you know, we all live in the same. I've just yeah. Heard something else. Yes. It's your your colleague Graham that yeah. buzzes me every <laughs> week in that micro That's life. Right, the micro yes. life. It's him, isn't yes, it? Yes, look out if you're lying in a yeah. garden. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, our drummer's lying. A colleague in the across. blues lives in our neighbourhood. <laughs> <laughs> he headshots, that's fair to say, isn't he? Yes, yes. Yeah. He doesn't want to be too far off the ground, Graham. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell him as soon as he's going to fight back with Catapult the next time we do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, well, when's the UK tour? When, April. Me, April. April. Yeah, looking so forward to it very much. Plenty of rest before then? No, we're, we're working. We're back on the road again after Christmas. Mm, after yeah. Christmas. Well, it's been an absolute joy to meet you, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank Thank you. Justin and John, yeah. good to meet you. But now we cannot tarry, can we? We, we must go can't. to the weather with Carol. Smack wrist.